Creating a positive workplace culture can be harder than it looks, but it doesn't need to be. We've got some tips for you today. Welcome back and congratulations on taking one more step towards becoming one of the great leaders of tomorrow. As leaders, whether we're bosses, we own our own company or a part of a larger company, we all wanna create a positive workplace for our employees. It gets, our employees are more productive. We get more out of them. We all look better, we get the job done. We get to go home and feel better about what we've done. Positive workplace environment, a, a positive workplace culture is really important if you want to be an effective leader of an effective team. And we've got some tips for you today on how to create that positive workplace culture. And what's great about these tips is that no matter where you work, whether it's your own business and you're the one setting the culture, you're the one setting the core values of the organization, or you work for a larger organization, these tips are gonna work for you. There's never gonna be any conflict with your organization, your company's core values, or their culture, because these are universal leadership uh, skills and ideas that you can use no matter where your team is in the chain of command. The first tip, the first idea in creating a positive workplace culture is respect. And this comes down to how do you treat people? And not just if you're nice to people, but how do you view the people on your team? Do you view them as cogs in a machine that just do what you tell them to do? Or do you view them as valued members who have something to contribute and that you can learn from and grow from as well? Treating people with respect, viewing them as valued members of the team who have something to offer, will go a long way towards fostering that positive workplace culture instead of just treating them as resources that you task out to go get things done that you just don't wanna do yourself. And I know we've all been there as bosses. I don't wanna do this, I'm gonna get somebody else. But really, it's about respecting people and making sure that we view them as valued members of the team, then they'll feel like valued members of the team. The second tip is integrity. And I don't just mean don't lie, don't steal, don't cheat, although those three things are important in a workplace culture. When it comes down to integrity, are we being honest with the people on our team? Are we assessing their performance honestly? Are we giving them that feedback saying, you did great here, you did okay here, and here's some areas where you could use some improvement, and here's how we're gonna get that improvement from you. Um, and then it comes down to, are we being honest with ourselves? Are we doing that for ourselves? Are we honestly evaluating our performance as a leader? And are we seeking out that feedback as well? So integrity is very important in the sense of, are we being honest with ourselves and honest with the people on our team? Professionalism. I had someone, I had a client tell me about a year and a half ago, thank you so much for being on time. Most people are 10 to 15 minutes late when they come to a meeting. And I said to her, you have got to raise your standards on this. Being professionalism, fostering professionalism is so important in a workplace culture for that positive workplace environment. If that means being on time, and I think being on time is important, then people should do that. And you know, it's okay if you're one or two minutes late, but if you're running an assembly line, if you're running something where people have to count on members of the team being in the right spot at the right time, being on time is even more important than that. So little things like being on time, following through on what you say you're going to do. I can't emphasize this one enough. So many people will say they're gonna do something and then not follow through on it. These are the kinds of things we wanna have for a positive workplace culture. The leader we follow through on the say, things that we say we're going to do, and we expect that from our team. More on expectations later. Communication. Communication is the next tip we've got for you. Have clear and effective communication. Say what you mean, mean what you say. A lot of what this means is thinking about what you're going to say before you say it. That means not necessarily being reactive in the moment unless it's a real crisis situation. Coming from the Air Force, I can tell you, out in the civilian business world, very few things are real crises where someone's gonna lose a life or be injured or have a real crisis if we, don't, if we decide to take a couple minutes to solve the problem. So communication, clear, effective communication. We've got a ton of videos on communication. I'll link some of those up down below. And then finally, excellence. Excellent is the last tip I've got for you. Demand it from yourself, demand it from your team. If something's worth doing, it's worth doing right. Now there's a difference between perfect and good enough, right? But if something doesn't meet the standard of your organization 
or or even of your team, even if it meets the standard of your organization, but you have a higher standard on your team, it's important to set that example and to, when people don't do an excellent job, to send them back to turn it into an excellent job or to give them that feedback on how they can do an excellent job next time. Excellence is so important in fostering a positive workplace culture. And I've mentioned it a couple times so far, but really the final bonus tip on this is as the leaders, we need to set the example. We need to be doing all of these things, the respect, the integrity, the professionalism, the communication, and the excellence. We need to be doing all five of these things on our own. We need to be setting that example. And then we need to be setting clear expectations. And I looked back to see if we had a video on setting expectations. It's a lot like setting goals, but I couldn't find one that I've done. So I think we'll be doing a video in the near future on setting expectations, but don't, don't wait for that video to start going and fostering your positive workplace culture now. Go set the example, go set those expectations with your team, follow the five tips we gave you for fostering a positive workplace culture. As always, I hope this was helpful to you. If you feel like I missed something, let me know in the comments. I'd love to have more of a conversation about it. I'm, I don't have any problem doing this video again, adding in something that someone thinks is important and I missed. So please put something in the comments. Email us at info at evilgeniusleadership.com. If you liked this, if it was helpful, please share it with a coworker, share it with a friend, share it with a family member, and like, comment, and share on the uh, video below. Thank you so much for watching again. I hope it was helpful. Remember, the future is out there. Lead the way.